So for this video, I'm going to provide a little more commentary and not have a uh, music overlay to it. But what you're currently seeing is what's known as the abyss. It's where all the water for the future site and homes and everything else drains to. It used to be an 80-foot hole. They dug it out to, I believe, about 160. What you're seeing here is about 140 as they have started backfilling it with the drains installed. This hole will eventually be filled up uh, all the way to what you're going to see on the left side here. Um, they're estimating it's going to take about 75 days to completely fill it and install all the drainage lines. So currently that uh, hill on top of the road is what they're removing right now. This video was taken about a week ago and they just started filling it back in late last week and it'll take about 75 days. So this is just a quick time lapse of them on the removal process still and Shortly after this, they reached the bottom and began backfilling it back in and installing a series of nine uh, drains that go all the way down to the bottom. Here we just have sort of a general flyover um, from the west side of the property looking eastbound, uh, currently above 7 Fairway there. Here they were digging a few of uh, old number five and using that to bring down into the pit. So here we're flying directly above the abyss going east. What's out in the distance and what it'll stop on in a second is the uh, clubhouse pad that work has just begun on um, mobilizing to start building the clubhouse as of uh, today actually which is uh, April 11th. So a pool goes on the pad up top where all these pipes are, the event lawn. Um, the pad just east of that or up above the screen is where the first floor of the clubhouse is. And then the pad up top is not where the second level is, but will sit above the first level. But that gives some perspective as to the size of the clubhouse. Slightly where that truck is will be another event lawn. Uh, for weddings and other events outside. So this is some of the drain pipe that's going into the abyss. Um, there's nine of them in total, and they'll be, I believe, about 100 feet um, vertical. So what you're seeing here is the future 11th hole, old number seven. Um, you can see two fairway bunkers on the left, a small bunker directly in front of the green, and a bunker off to the right. The bunker off to the right seems to me to be more of a target bunker. <clears throat> and then just left of the pine tree will be the location of the green. Uh, again, another green where all sides sort of funnel back towards it. This is a time lapse of future 12 and 13. Um, you can kind of see where the lake used to be. Uh, there no longer will be standing water there or a lake. Um, it'll be a large barranca. And in the last two days not seen in this video, they've done a lot of work there. Here was a time lapse of the stockpiling of the sand cap material for old one and two, future six and seven. What you're seeing here is some additional uh, footage we got last week. Uh, this is one of six trees that will be moved to the entrance of the club. So when you're driving up Narbon or PV East or down PV East and turn into what's going to be the club and community, there'll be three pine trees on either side of the road. These are taken off the old golf course. Um, this tree right here was from old number 11 uh, green or old number 11 tee box and it was boxed and transported almost to the sheriff station uh, at the beginning of the big turn on Narbon. So this tree will sit here for a little while and eventually be put at the entrance to the club along with a few others.